Welcome to the white shirt edition of Japanese from Zero. I gotta have a better thumbnail, therefore I must change my shirt, even though it's the same day. Today we are going to, I say today as if it's a different day, but it's the same day from the last video. And this is lesson five, continuation. Uh, this is gonna be very short. We're just gonna talk about one of the, uh, it's a very short grammar point, but it's important, it's inviting someone. But it's doing it in a way that uh, it's, it's not unique to Japanese, but it's, it may, might not be something you would think of uh, in Japanese just by hearing it the first time. So let's look at it. Uh, let's, look, let's look at some new words. Ishoni, ishoni, isho, together, ishoni. All right. Uh, ocha, tea, ocha, and a movie, eiga, eiga. I, I love movies. Science fiction. <sighs> Love movies. You know that Japanese... I don't know if they still do this because I haven't been to a Japanese movie in a long time. But Japanese movie theaters is assigned seating. You get assigned a seat. So when you buy your ticket, you're looking, you know, just like a concert if you have a good seat or not. So it's kind of, kind of an interesting thing. And also, they'll come around and sell like hot dogs and hamburgers to you while you're sitting down. It's not like uh, like America where you buy your stuff first and then go inside. They do it inside the theater. Pretty cool. All right, uh, so we're gonna use those words and we're gonna learn a way to ask somebody to do something with us, okay? In instead of saying like, uh, like uh, ikimasu ka? Will you go? You're gonna make a suggestive invite. And that's what this is. Which, when I say suggestive invite, doesn't it sound advanced? I mean, this is, Course two, it sounds like you're learning. I learned how to do suggestive invite today. Ashita, eiga ni ikimasen ka? Ashita, eiga ni ikimasen ka? Now, we have never, up until this point, ever said ikimasen ka. We've never had it. We've had ikimashita ka. We've had ikimasen deshita ka. Right, ikimashita ka, did you go? Ikimasen deshita ka, didn't you go? And ikimasu ka, will you go? But this is, won't you go? Will you not go? But it doesn't mean you're not going. It does not mean you're not going. It means, won't you go to the movies with me tomorrow? Right, won't you go to the movies tomorrow? It is an invitation for that person to go with you. Okay, so ashita eiga ni ikimasen ka? All right. Next one. Ishō ni ocha wo nomimasen ka? Ishō ni ocha wo nomimasen ka? Won't you have some tea together? Very, very British sounding. Won't you drink some tea? But in English, we tend to say have some tea, and we never probably say this in America. We don't say. We don't ever say, "Hey, do you want to get some tea?" We say coffee, but Japanese like to say ocha, right? So I'm not, I'm saying ocha by mistake. I'm not, don't, don't do that. It's ocha, ocha. No little tsu, I don't know what I was, the, the little tsu in ishoni was really messing with my brain. So, ishoni ocha wo nomimasen ka? Won't you drink some tea with me? Now, uh, this is something you, you could literally meet somebody for the very first time on the street in Tokyo or at Shibuya. If you go to Japan, you have to go to Shibuya. Shibuya has that crosswalk. It's like it's just like that busy crosswalk in New York. All the Japanese people at one time cross the street in all directions. It's really cool. Uh, but you could meet somebody in Shibuya and then you could say, you could say, and you could throw in front of that, I'll give you a little bonus. We don't know this. Just keep that as a phrase in your brain, not in the book anywhere. Won't be on a test. Yoroshikattara. If it's all right with you, wouldn't you drink some tea with me? And the last one. Raigetsu no getsu yobi ni watashi to pizza wo tabemasen ka? It's a very, very good plan. Raishu no getsu yobi ni watashi to pizza wo tabemasen ka? What does that mean? Raishu no getsu yobi ni. Well, ni marks the time, so that's a time, right? Or, or a, yeah, it's a time, or, or a location, but this is, gets you always a day. Oh, yeah, 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 next Monday, 
私と私とピザを me and pizza? No, that doesn't make sense. With me! Ah, 私とピザを食べませんか Won't you eat pizza with me next Monday? Now, it, it doesn't sound like in English when you say, won't you eat pizza with me next Monday? It sounds awkward, right? But really, really, what you're saying is, hey, do you want to eat pizza with me next Monday? Or, hey, do you want to drink some tea? Hey, do you want to go to the movies? That's what it sounds like. Now, later on, when you learn, do you want to do this? That's awkward. To directly ask somebody, do you want to? And we don't know this yet, but it's coming up. Do you want to do something? It's only good if you know the person. If you don't know the person, it's really awkward to say that. Even though in English, we'll say it. Do you want to do this thing? In Japanese, it'll be masenka. Okay? And it could even be the informal. Once we get in lesson nine of this book, we'll learn informal. And I'll show you how to do it again informal. All right, that is it. We have one more video today for the live stream. But for those of you guys that are watching like years later after I've made this video, you can relax. It's the next lesson. That was the last video for lesson five. I'll see you all in lesson six, though, where I might change my shirt again. See you then. Bye bye.